life and the grace to be alive. Particularly, we thank you for the creation, preservation, and blessing of Venerable Daramada as he celebrates 80th year today. As we rejoice with him today, the endless rejoicing be ours as we gather in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. It was Abraham Lincoln who said, It's not the years in your life that counts. It is the life in your years that counts. We have come today to rejoice with a new octogenarian who has packed so much life into his years. Even though he has now counted up to 80, what is really interesting or inspiring about him is not the number of his years, but as Lincoln said, it is the life in his years, his impact in service, his contribution to humanity and the kingdom of God. We welcome all of you to this gathering today, celebrating our father Ramana. We want to particularly thank God for the presence of Archbishop Akiani, Archbishop Lashinikon, Bishop Ukeremi, Bishop Fadiel Merokon. And incidentally, the three diocese in the battle, the three provosts are in this service today. I welcome Brother Kevin from the Vandalika Diocese and other dioceses, and our brethren from the Methodist Diocese who are rejoicing with us today. I pray that celebration will never elude any of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome, children of Papa and Mama Ramana, family, friends, acquaintances and all the loved ones of the Daramalas who have come to rejoice with this wonderful man, Venerable Baldwin, Bamidele Daramala J.P. Distinguished invited guests, fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters, members of the wonderful forest of Jericho. It is a day of rejoicing for all of us. Thank you for coming to celebrate with this young man. <laughs> Venerable Daramola has so many children. A few are biological children. A few are academic children. And a few, he has mentored so much. And all of you, who sat under his tutelage. Thank God that God has made you somebody great today. Thank you for coming to honor the Lord in the life of this great man. It is not good to preach a long sermon at the birthday Thanksgiving of Octogenaria. We have to avoid emergencies. Not from him, but from his friends and classmates. <laughs> when Yudha Ramana served and distinguished himself as an educationist and as a clergyman, we have had the great privilege of working with him in the Madagascar several years, where he put in several years of fantastic service to the glory of God. And today, several years after that eventual retirement, we still miss him. I still miss you. And if you ask the clergy of Ibadan, what do they miss most in you? 
they will tell you that sentence that you are found with. Stop imping. <laughs> Your place is still hard to feel. Very well, I know that life is a fulfillment of the psalm they actually read to us at the Old Testament reading. Psalm 92, 13 to 15. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. No matter how much it looks.
and teacher. The sermons are almost dripped with biblical wisdom and intense scholarship. It is always a great pleasure to listen to you, sir. And I know the same experience for most of us here. Or to read your sermons is always a great experience. And you can safely say that your sermons and writing are reference standards for many clergymen, both men and far. Let me add that you are a prolific writer whose literary works will surely endure. A clergyman who comports himself very well, disciplined, decent, hardworking, and his appearance will score with A, N, B, N. There is this joke about Ander, which says that Someone asks sometimes, is Handel still composing? To which he got the answer, no, he is decomposing. <laughs> Quote and unquote. That's one thing you won't miss from the Bible of Allah's son. Quote and unquote. <laughs> <laughs> we are glad to report that even at 80, this, our own pandemic, is still composing. Yeah. And we declare that you will not be composed in Jesus' name. Yeah. In the course of an illustration, or when you mean that your body, in the course of an illustrious career as a preacher and teacher, and later principal, but Ramona impacted young people so positively that many of these young people are proud products and have become great leaders today. Governors, commissioners, academicians, activists, industries, without them, they are the products of this world. We are happy for you, sir. That God has preserved your life so that you can serve bro, the joy of seeing the seed you sow in those lives maturing. And so that you can enjoy the fruits of your labor. Many of them are here today. Very proud to be called children of Papa, very good Taramana. And I say again, this is a lesson for us. All of us that are here today. By the time we get to 80 or 90, by the grace of God, how many people will come around to call us daddy or grandpa? An ancient philosopher said, Count your life by smiles, not by tears. Both are not good. <laughs> Count your age by friends. Not yet. So as you elicit smiles from people, are you multiplying friendship among people? Papa, I will serve the Lord in this church and in this church with all his heart. He truly exerted himself to ensure that the gospel work advances, that the name of Jesus Christ is glorified. Even now in retirement, he is still committed to the work of God in the church and in the community. So, at 80, for more intents and purposes, you are far from being tired. I don't know what the hope for. No, what you are thinking again is not what I'm thinking. <laughs> Victor Hugo, which incidentally we encounter for the first time in one of your books, continue to describe your personality. And I quote, Winter is on my head, but eternal spring is in my heart. I press at this hour 
the fragrance of the lights, the violence, and the rubbish as at 20 years ago. Quote and quote. <laughs> About the road. We join the octogenarian club with gospel fire still in your homes. And the spirit of the Lord still upon your life. Like heaven. He's ready to take new mountains for the Lord. So we like to encourage you, sir, Papa. Press on in the service of the Lord. Do not let anyone discourage you. Serve him better so that he may bless you better. Revelation 3:11. There are experiences you have that are very unique in the ministry, which God can use to bring glory to his name as you serve him in the church. At every opportunity, we like to say to our elders, to our parents, our most important work in the church now is mentoring. Please, sir, seek out young, promising people and guide them through the way they should follow. The Lord shall be glad for this. People of God, <coughs> in addition to having an impactful career. When Papa Jaramala built an exemplary Christian home, and we see it, and we are happy to know that his wife gives him peace and joy at home. <coughs> if you see any man outside the confines of his home unhappy, investigate the house. Try and look at the life of the wife. Uh, Mama, thank you very much. Uh, this is the first time I've been you, Mama, because I know where I'm going. The girl. <laughs> she's the girl, and that's why she's looking young. And that's why many people want to misinterpret what I said here. <laughs>
shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God that you are living the life of a Christian and a preacher. Something happened sometimes ago. It's a story we were told. Prince Charles of England was visiting a particular area and suddenly there was commotion around him. It was discovered that somebody stole, in spite of the security around, only that. The man was the person. And Prince Charles now demanded, bring the man here. I said, why do you have to steal? Okay, by the way, what is your name? He said, my name is Charles. <laughs> and the prince was Prince Charles. And everybody waited. What is going to happen there? The thief hear the name Charles. The man was asking him to his Charles. They waited. What will be his next action? And when we were told Prince Charles said, you better change your character or change your name. Character is one thing we thank God for for your life. Sir. Your character is an exemplary one. And it is embedded in the words of our Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 5 says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. If every Nigerian if every Christian will take character as priority and live life worthy of praise to the Lord, this country will be a better place. Character is always the in thing that is expected. Mama Miguel, thank you again for the peaceful home. Papa? I don't know whether it was in your days or after that Teachers declare that a student or people cannot get the whole mark. Well, in your own case, you near me. One more thing that will demand of you from a 70 upward. Who is going to succeed you in the line of priesthood in your family? Please, the seat in his presence. 